Alright guys, so obviously with silly season going on right now in F1 with the transfer market, there are lots of comments on the topic that strongly suggest that the older drivers in Formula 1 such as Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso and even Daniel Ricciardo surrender their F1 seats to younger upcoming talents to give them a chance at the sport since they've already had their time in F1. Now, I can see where these comments are coming from and I understand the logic. To put it into perspective, F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. If there's a racing driver out there, you can bet that their dream is to drive in Formula 1 because simply, it's the top of the pyramid. You can't go any higher than that. And in Formula 1, there aren't 30, 40 spaces to go around. No, there's 10 teams with two main drivers each. So there are only 20 spaces in the sport altogether. Comparing that to other sports like football, for example, spaces are ridiculously exclusive. So with that out of the way, you may already know about the multiple Formula Junior Series. Formula 4, Formula Regional, F3 and F2, the list goes on, but these are the main ones. This is essentially the ladder drivers have to climb to reach F1. The better they perform throughout their junior career, the more likely they are to be noticed by a Formula 1 team and the more likely they will drive in F1 at some point. Now, there are more than 20 drivers racing in F2 each year. And typically almost every year, there's at least one driver on the grid who deserves a shot on the Formula One grid. But they don't always make it. Right now we have Oscar Piastri on the sidelines. Of course, he will be driving for McLaren next season, but up until a few months ago, his future in F1 wasn't very clear because he was an Alpine Academy driver, but Alpine had no free spaces at the team. So he likely would have had to sit another year out or he could have signed with a worse team as a loan from Alpine. Obviously the whole Piastri fiasco was very much in the spotlight, but other drivers may go unnoticed. We currently have great drivers on the side waiting for a chance in F1 such as Felipe Drogovic, Logan Sargent, Liam Lawson or the whole Red Bull Driver Academy for that matter. But looking at the F1 grid next season, there aren't many seats available for these drivers. The most likely seats to be filled by a rookie for next season would be the Alpha Tauri seat, the Williams seat, and maybe on the off chance, the Haas seat. Since it's silly season, of course, there are more spaces available than usual. But even then, it's still very few. So some people believe that the best way to solve this is by, like I said before, getting rid of some of the older drivers. And obviously I mean in the context of sports because by no means are you an old man at 36. But I think that's ridiculous. Sure, getting rid of Daniel Ricciardo was a good move on McLaren's end. Daniel wasn't performing near as well as Lando was, yet he was getting paid a lot more. In that case, obviously, you let a driver go. We all saw it coming because it just made sense. But should Ricciardo be refused by a team such as Alpine because he's been in the sport for 10 years now? No. This is a sport. You're supposed to be judged on your performance, not your age. That's simply ridiculous. Look at the likes of Fernando Alonso. He was refused a two-year deal with Alpine because of the younger Oscar Piastri waiting in line. But what I don't get is Fernando is performing at a standard higher than most drivers on the grid right now, and it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. So if he says that he intends on racing for another good few years, why not sign him? He's as valuable as any other young driver out there. Now, I'm not saying Alpine was wrong to refuse Alonso over Piastri. Obviously, if the team saw more potential in having Oscar over Fernando, that's all fair and good. But if the decision was solely based off of his age, then that's just a dumb way to go about it, in my opinion. Now, this video isn't about ageism or anything. Don't get me wrong, it's a bad thing, but that's just not my point here. I just think it's a very dumb idea that these fans have that a driver should be let go because they don't think they have a long time left in the sport rather than because of their performance. The exception to this is of course if a driver intends to only race a couple more seasons. In that case, sure, they aren't going to be an asset to the team in the long run and it would be a bad idea for the team to keep them over a young driver who will drive for the team longer. But that's all I really wanted to say here guys, so to answer the question very clearly, no, I don't think older drivers should step out of the way to let younger drivers into F1, unless said driver doesn't intend on racing for much longer, then I think it's completely reasonable to do so. But that was it guys, if you have anything to add or just want to say something, please do so in the comments below. It really helps a lot with the algorithm if you do so. And if you enjoyed this video at any point at all, please consider liking the video and more importantly subscribing to help with the growth of this channel. But really guys, thank you all for watching and on that note, I hope you all have a blessed night and I'll catch you all next time.